Okay, this one doesn't look like it has commercial brakes, so if we get them, I'm going to be super annoyed. I'm warning you, short, do not annoy me. Wait, did we watch this one yet? When should I marry? I don't think we did. I think this is new. Let's try it. I'm curious when I should get married. A year after I got married. Seems like a good question to have already answered that I didn't answer. Wait, wait, wait. This is either not new or it's one by the same people who made one of the other ones we watched. Oh, this could go poorly. I could be making fun of something I already made fun of! Which is, you know, not new for me. I'm just... Okay, let's go. Whoa! What the hell was... <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> it's okay. <clears throat> I think the cameraman's drunk. Well, well, well. How do you do, Pat? Now... But he teleported into the chair. Well, He's a witch! Jim and I want to get married. But our parents think we're too young. I'm 18 and Jim's 19. It's okay with it's our going on 20. Married, sir. But they say we ought to wait a year or so. They suggested we come and talk to you about What's it. What's wrong with that? Oh, we've been going together for two years. We love each other. As far as we're concerned, we can't see any reason to wait. Well, tell me a little more about yourselves. Pat, you're 18, you said. Jim, you're 19. You're both idiots. You both finished high school, I suppose. Yes, I graduated last year and Jim graduated two years ago. And we're both working, sir. Between us, we have a pretty good income. We've even been able to save some money. Yeah. Oh, it must have been nice to be 18, 19 and be making a good income. Degree. Also, we boy, you are way too long earnest. Long Comet the f down. We have enough money saved to pay Jim's school expenses for at least the first year. And we could live on Pat's salary. And Jim could work summer. Why does he always look shocked? Money. We're sure we could do it, Dr. Hamilton. You know, you're not the first couple that have come to me and asked, when's the best time to get married? June, by the way. It's always June. The best way to answer that is to tell you about another couple whom I married and know quite well. Of course, everyone... He married a couple? Is different. That was a different time. But Betty and Bert Matthews are in many ways like a little older, perhaps. But Bert decided that he wanted to go back to college. And this presented certain problems. Betty had but finished two old years school college, laptops are huge. Look at that. in love two or three times before. When she married Bert, he was 23. Bert had graduated from college two years before, but he decided he wanted to go back and get a law degree. Well, good for him. Betty encouraged him to go ahead. And together, they planned to spend three more years at the university. Bert was able to get a small educational loan to help them, but for three years, they were mainly supported by Betty. She took an office job. No, there it was. No, who are you? Oh, wife. Okay, good. Beef. An international law exam today was no joke. Oh, don't worry, you made it. I hope so. I didn't know I'll have to study all summer. It means no money for us. Plus, the professor told me to have a good life, and that's never a good One sign. Girls at the office asked us to a party tomorrow night. Oh, wouldn't it be fun? It's ages since we've been anywhere, and we can come home early. What do you say? Look, honey, I, I know you haven't been out for a long time, but these exams are tough for me. I've got to keep plugging. Which is a perfectly normal and acceptable thing to say and think. Wait till exams are over. Then we'll really blow. We'll go somewhere and dance. Sure. Let's dance. I well, forgot the song. Put on I'll your blue that. shoes and dance the way. But you knew we decided. Now, I've got something to apologize for. I felt so good when Babs asked me. I, I bought an Irish linen tablecloth with eight dinner napkins. <laughs> we can't afford that. that. One. Eight napkins. There's only what two do you think of us. We're going to have a banquet for eight people. How much did it cost? Well, I got it on sale. Just nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Ten bucks. You know how much beer I can buy with that? Do you realize I've been saving up a quarter at a time to buy a textbook on civil law for eight dollars, and you go and shoot ten bucks on a useless tablecloth? Makes her feel Maybe good. It's useless to you. You don't care what kind of a slum we live in. Well, I'm sick and tired of it. 
I'm glad I bought it. It'll be the one nice thing in this whole dump. All right, now here's where we calm down. We talk about our feelings. Let's have dinner, shall we? You also have a huge head on a tiny body. I did, I did, it's, it's been bugging me. I had to say something. Sorry. I'm sorry. The, talk it out. Talk about your feet. Don't go back to study. Don't you do it, sir. Don't you do it. He did it. Bad husband. Mm, good spam. Okay, I was gonna say their apartment's not that bad, but if you're drying clothes inside, yeah, that's not, that's not ideal. I'm just gonna hang one of them right over his head. You're all wet, Bob. Up, up, no, no, la, 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 how dare you hang laundry? Thanks for your usual help and cooperation. I suppose it's absolutely essential for you to hang wet dripping clothes exactly over the spot where I have to be studying. It happens to be essential because there's no other place. In fact, there's no place to put anything. There was a and string across the room. You could have gone to the other side of the room. I mean... I'd like to ask you how in the yeah, world they're both we ever got into this mess. See, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening here is this is a young married couple who's used to being able to do what they want when they want. And now they're panicking and not really sure they want to be married. And so they're causing fights over little minuscule things in order to justify leaving instead of talking and working things through. I'm not giving you that advice to help your life or anything. I'm just spouting nonsense because I feel like talking. I'm glad we're doing this together. But sometimes everything seems to gang up. Ow. Stupid tablecloth, I guess it made me feel guilty. See, this is good. This is healthy. Talk about it. All this studying and exams. Don't worry about the tablecloth. I'll tell you what. I'll pick up the wash and you make us some coffee. And we'll use the tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say use the tablecloth, I, I don't know kind of I don't know what the rating on this video is, but that might not be appropriate. They sound like us, but golly, we'd still rather spend those years together. You know, Jim, you're you dumb. At least consider the possibility that you might not be able to finish school. Oh, I don't mean that you wouldn't be able to handle the exams, but uh, one of you might uh, take sick, and then you'd need that money that you've been saving for school. Might have a baby, and then pass oh God, no. for a while. You mean having a wife might mean Jim couldn't go on with his education? That means more to me than anything. If something happened while I was at school, and I had to quit. Well, I'd, I'd quit, that's all. <laughs> well, then again, there are special problems in young marriages. When you were a little older, you'd have had more experience in living. And experience? Extra experience. <laughs> Makes the going a little easier. That's what my mother says. Let me tell you about another young couple. Helen and Hal were only 17 when I married them. She's only 17! That's a lot like the last guy. He the army for two years to get his military service out of the way. He asked Helen to marry him a week before he entered the army. Now that suited Helen just fine. She and Hal had been going steady for a year. Now... I think she was tired of being the baby of the family, with uh, too many restrictions, she said. She thought that with Hal in the army, it would be a good time to get married. And I think that Hal was the kind of person who wanted to get away from family restrictions, too. Married life was pretty tough for Helen. She lived in a succession of strange towns moving around the country. Oh, okay. Near Hal. I assumed he was deployed. I thought this would be a different kind of story. A year and a half after they were married. I did. What are you going to do about it? You 
can't right stop me. You have no control, mother. Job in a furniture factory. Things going right out of the crib. He's very talented in manual skills. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> what is all this? Well, it isn't every day you have uh, a birthday. It's your house. And guess what? Nothing seems out of the place. I mean, granted, I don't live there, but... I made it myself. Well, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Well, but my birthday's tomorrow. I don't know. Present like last year. But then last year I didn't make you a cake. Maybe next year you can have both. The most beautiful birthday cake I ever had. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got another surprise. What? We're going to have a party. I've asked Alan, Marilyn, and Hank and Sally. They're coming over about 7.30 for dessert. We'll have the cake and some ice cream. Well, gee, that's swell. I haven't seen them since high school. I mean, I hated them, but, you know, it's fine. Where'd you get the flowers, honey? Oh, I bought them. You what? That's a lot of money, honey. Three fifty. But it's your birthday, isn't it? I borrowed five dollars from the landlady. I don't think you should borrow money from the landlady, Helen. No, I don't either, I actually. That seems like a bad idea. That's, that's what we have to have some fun, don't we? And besides, we can pay her back next payday. Yeah, except uh, rent's due next payday. It's always slim going that week. Well, what about the baby? She'll be all right with the screen around her crib. Well, screen? I guess what, it's okay. Like a mosquito net? Do me a favor. Stop worrying just for tonight. Oh, one of us has to. I mean, he's trying to illustrate this as a reason to not get married oh, young, hell, but so far are. I don't see anything terribly out of the ordinary or bad. Woo! We're still in college, so we brought a keg! Woo! Hi, hi. Come on in. How are you? Hey, Oh, oh, right, I forgot. It's the 50s. Everybody wore suits. Thank God it's over. Oh, I'm not giving up my t-shirts. Soon all of your souls will belong to me. She's a darling. I will slit your throat in your sleep. Well, she sleeps here with us. Of course, we hope to get a bigger place soon. Helen, you're so lucky to have such a lovely baby. It must be lots of fun to be a mother. Oh, God, you have no idea. La 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 This product actually does look kind of cool, but la 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 No commercials. All right, we're back. Nothing happened. It was a ghost. It was the ghost of commercials past. Or is it commercials future? We haven't seen anyone in ages. I'm still here. You can't ignore me. We were downtown yesterday buying some new clothes. She's going to stay, too. Remember when we used to shop at the sales together, Helen? You used to find some of the cutest clothes. I always thought you were one of the best dressed girls in school. Those days are beyond me now. As are happiness yeah, and dreams. Right you know, I got into the army in a way too, Hal. I enrolled in the ROTC at college. I'll be a uh, second Louie when I get out. <laughs> <laughs> Hard work sucks. He looks wonderful in his uniform, just the same. All the guys in the ROTC took two weeks camp duty this summer. It was great. Guess that kind of camp life could be pretty good. Oh, sure. The rest of the summer I worked at the service station here in town. I got myself a second-hand car with the money I made. And boy, is it nice to have a car of your own. Yeah, I guess so. Just me or this guy seemed like that, that, that dick you knew in high school who's just always trying to rub shit in your face. Like, I just got a new like Oculus Rift. We haven't seen your Bet you wish time. you knew what that was That's like, don't you? <laughs> you I suck. Can, Sally. The baby, you, know. Why don't you, get a babysitter? you know how much that costs? Oh, I mean, you hire a 12-year-old. I, I hadn't thought of that. Say, Al, uh, what are you doing with yourself these days? You work all summer like Hank? Oh, no, I've been taking the electronic course at the Technical Institute. Runs the, all summer. Oh, the working on electronics. I thought you were online right. courses. I mean, the 50s. I got a student deferment, oh, and I got to keep my marks up to hang on to it. I'll say, Hank, a cousin of mine graduated from the same electronics course two years ago. Started in right away at a pretty good salary. Getting married next month. He and his girl have even started beer already. Start hey, beer. Hey, that's what I need, boy. Food. Come and get it. Here, baby. Need a match? Yes, please. A 
I'm still over here. Your souls will soon be mine, mother, father. Our friends suck, huh, hon? Turn it off, Hank. I'm sorry, I'm dumb. Knowing Hank, he was probably purposely trying to make the baby cry just to remind them how much better his life is. It's okay. She's gonna go back to sleep in a few minutes. Oh, I'm awfully sorry, Hal. I forgot. All I just about don't care. I saw this new record here, and I just put it on without thinking. Oh, don't worry about it. She'll be okay, all right in a minute. Okay, stand back, folks. Good, very good. Well, now pick those handkerchiefs up. Birthday, napkins. Those How napkins. Pick those napkins up. Twenty. That's... I'm to feel old. My gosh, twenty with a wife and baby. You're really making progress fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your life seems like it sucks. He tucks his tie into his pants. I'm again not relevant criticism. I just noticed it and it weirds me out. Oh hell, I don't know what to do with her anymore. I think I should feed her. That's what it's like to have a family, kids. You never know what's gonna come next. I'll get I'm, the bottle in. I'm gonna go throw myself off the roof, I'll be. <laughs> Again. I had a kid in my early twenties. Not that rough. Helen, I think we better be going now. Oh, you don't have to go already. I think we should. Well, I guess Although I your friends do treat it with a great deal of trepidation. I told my mother I'd be getting home early too, so. Well, I'm sorry it had to happen this way, but I'm afraid she just won't settle down until I feed her. Well, maybe next time I won't forget. We'll have to get together again soon, okay? Bye-bye. Uh, we'll never see you again. We're going to leave now because we're highly uncomfortable because we're just kids, and it's, this is a terrible story. We're sorry. We're sorry. We'll be gone now. Bye. Bye. Run. Bye. Bye. Oh, I assumed the big deal was they had to leave because she was going to breastfeed. Like, she got a bottle. Feed him in front of the... What does it matter? I wonder how much Al will make after he takes that electronics course. You could still go to school. Oh, gee. You sure make marriage sound pretty tough, Dr. Hamilton. <laughs> it is tough. I didn't mean to do that. Both these marriages have a lot to offer. You know, when young people come and ask me, should we get married now? I usually ask them a few questions first, like, have you known each other long enough to be sure that you're choosing the right person? Can you take on the responsibilities of a marriage, such as earning and saving money and managing a home? If you marry now, would you be cutting off a career before you had a chance to get started on it? And there is another question, even more important than the Being other. Being married won't necessarily cut off a career. Are you grown up enough to handle all the things that can happen in a marriage? Now that that's a real question. That one that one's good. The emotional upsets, that's... the disappointments. Well, uh, I I think we are. I do too. Oh, Doctor Hamilton, we are ready to get married, aren't we? Well, nobody can tell you that, Pat. It all depends on what you want out of life. If you get Always married young, look on the bright side of life. Satisfy some desires right away, perhaps. But it often means that you'll have to sacrifice other satisfactions that may be even more important to you. Which, you'll have to you're 18 and 19, you should have already realized that, but Only that's fine. Only you can answer, when should I marry? I was trying to pause it before the commercial. Did I do it? Did I do it? Did I stop the demon ads? What? No! You played anyway. Alright. So, I hate that video. <laughs> and not because of the old-timey quality or the poor writing or the bad acting. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's rough if you get married young. But mostly because it's rough to realize that, you know, you have to... 
take someone else's opinion into consideration as much, if not more so, than your own. Uh, it's rough to have kids young, and that part I would totally not recommend, but it's also not the end of the flipping world if it happens. And, you know, for instance, right now, one of my daughters wants to train for the Olympics, so I'm going out jogging with her every day and working out with her, and if I was much older, that might be more difficult than it is. Since I'm 39, it's not that bad. Like, so there's ups and downsides to all of it. The main thing is, should you get married? Well, that depends. Are you willing to put someone else before yourself? And that's, that's the penultimate question, because that's what it is. It's going to be tough. You're going to have to work at it. It will be hard. But if neither one of you are willing to give up and you're both willing to put forth the effort and make compromises and give of yourselves, you'll be fine. That's, that's the thing. That's not, well, you're 18, so no. Anyway, just my take. All right, bye!